Hi, welcome back to our van. Someone commented on our video the other day and was like, whatever happened to the ambulance? We're in it. We're in it. This is the ambulance. For anyone that is confused, we are inside of it. And if you don't know us, we spent the entire summer building it and now we live in it. So this is our van conversion that we love very much. We've been living in it for a few months now. And today we wanted to talk about the things in it that we cannot live without. <laughs> We could probably live without them, but we wouldn't want to. Without further ado, let's begin. The very first thing that we really love, um, we talk about them in our van tour, are our clip lights. Yeah, we use them all the time for if we're just on the side of the bed, like one of us is reading or whatever, so we don't have to turn these lights on. So yeah. We use our... them for cooking too. Oh yeah, we, we use them for cooking. They actually have a really convenient spot, like just above like the sink. That's where actually they live and then um, we'll just bring them over here to the side of the bed. If we're off grid or whatever, they're low key and we can move them wherever we want in the van and they were, we knew that they were going to be a good purchase and they turned out to be. So that is definitely something that we wouldn't want to exclude in our next van. The next thing that we really love in our van is this wall grid or a wall panel and in our van tour we talked about it we're like hey we put this up and we don't really know what we're going to use it for so it's just decoration and it used to be it used to just be decoration and it's turned into more than that and I think it's going to turn into more than that in the future as well so we have like a little pencil case holder where we put some stuff in and then just another um I don't know I don't even know what you'd call this like a wire, a wire basket kind of like thing. Like a wire basket that we hang on here. Um, and then we still have decorations around, which, I mean, I really like that we can put decorations and also use it for functionality as well. Because it gives the van a little bit of personality to be able to put stuff that we like up on the wall. Um, and it's just lightweight, it's easy, it doesn't rattle around when we drive, and we can just stuff stuff in there that we use all the time. Um, so yeah, that we need to access. And on top of this wall grid with the attachments on there. We also have another little like wire basket kind of thing. Um, down to the side of me. There's not enough room for me on the bench. That's why I'm just off to the side. And um, we use that all the time as well. So yeah, we really like these. It's good for art and for functionality. So A plus on our behalf. This is one of my favorite spots in the van. I mean, as well as under the fan because it's one of the only spots that I can actually stand up, uh, which is great and I can actually stretch out. So it kind of feels a little bit weird standing here right now. Something that we incorporated in our van that we don't see talked about all that often in other builds is our uh, coat rack or coat hooks. Uh, we've just got a couple of them here. We actually have plans to install a few more here just for like sweaters or whatever. And it's great because it's just over the step. So if anything's wet or anything, it can just drip down into the step. It's not a problem. We right also there. live in BC in Canada where it's so wet. Yeah. Yeah, it's wet and it's cold, so you need like big heavy jackets all the time. Sweaters, you're always wearing sweaters here. Um, so it's not just like little t-shirts and stuff that you can fold up. So we have these big jackets, these big sweaters, and um, it's really nice to have a place that we can hang them up. And this just kind of came built into the van. We have like a little spot for our umbrellas. This big umbrella, it kind of just slides up underneath um, like one of these things here. So we slide it up and then it fits in the bottom or the top of the shoe rack really nicely and it just holds it in there. Um, and we keep some other umbrellas, like smaller ones in there as well. Something else that we incorporated into our build that we didn't buy, but that we built was uh, our shoe rack. So we just built it out of some wood. It was super last minute. It seems to have been working pretty good for us. And so, we use it like all the time. Yeah, we're, we're constantly using it. Um, again, living in BC, uh, it rains a lot here, so you'll have wet shoes, muddy shoes, so it's really great to have a space that you can just throw those shoes and then you have your old shoes that were wet, they've dried off, and you can grab those. So it's uh, it's super convenient to have a, a shoe rack. Why am I always the one that like talks about bathroom stuff? I was the one in our van build too, and now here I am again, sitting next to our toilet. And Cause you're the only one that uses that toilet. Okay, but we have two things to mention here. So something that we thought was going to be a non-negotiable in our van build was some way to go to the bathroom. We didn't have room to put a nature's head composting toilet in it. We didn't really plan out like a shower or a bathroom type of area. We don't have a wet room or any of this like crazy stuff that some people do. But at the very least, we did get one of these Dometic porta potties and I'm so happy that we did. It is a godsend because 
when you gotta go, you gotta go, and I can't imagine not having some sort of option in our van. So I'm really happy that we got this. And in addition to that, we also have a pee bottle. That's my pee bottle. So this is Nick's pee bottle um, for absolute emergencies. And yeah, I'm just really happy that we have two different ways to be able to go to the bathroom if we do need it. Um, especially with the pandemic, a lot of public bathrooms are closed. So this has been important to us and I would not recommend just not having anything. I've seen a couple van builds where they just don't have anything and they're just like, oh, well, it's fine because there's tons of truck stops or whatever. I can't imagine that. There's got to be a way to go. And this is super easy to just um, empty. We put a deodorizer in it, empty it every couple of days, and it's completely fine. No, it doesn't stink, literally, at all. At all. So if you're wondering that, um, no, it doesn't. We only go number one in it and it does not smell bad. So. There you go. And while I'm already on the floor, uh, we also want to talk about our carpet. So our carpet was a really random purchase because I bought this way before we even like started building the van. And I just had a feeling it would fit and it fits perfectly. We didn't plan our build around it and I didn't buy it after the build was done. It just fit perfectly. And so that's obviously awesome and it just looks cute in the van. I just like it so much. but. In addition to just having it be decor, we're really happy that we have a carpet on the ground. And I would really recommend to anyone to have, if you have laminate floors or hardwood floors, I'd really recommend that you put a carpet down because especially if you're living in a cold climate like Canada, um, it gets it gets cold. The floor gets very cold. And I, I'm really happy that we have the carpet. It stretches across basically all the places that we need to go within our van. And so our feet don't get cold but when we wake up and we don't have to, you know, put slippers on right away if we don't want to. It's nice and comfy to stand on. And yes, it makes the van look way cuter. And yeah, I just love it. I love this carpet. It just fit perfectly. And I'm so happy we got it. One of my favorite parts of the van uh, actually kind of started off as like a little bit of an accident. Um, we built this cupboard and I had it um, sticking out far enough so that it kind of matched up with the vent here uh, or the AC unit and um, we had all this room under here and Rachel had a really great idea to put mason jars under here because we've seen it in other van tours and stuff um, and a lot of people do it so we decided to do it and another fun fact about these is that they're actually plastic so they um, so they won't break I think that that's fairly important in a van build uh, if one of these was to fall or if we were to unscrew it and lose control we have an induction stove here which is also a glass top so we don't want to um, we don't want to break it uh, and we don't want to break these either so um, yeah plastic mason jars who would have thought Something else that we love is our baby wipes. Uh, you might have seen them in the shot earlier when we were talking about the wire racks. Um, so these are super handy. I'm sure any van lifer will tell you. Uh, you can't always find a shower, so you can't go wrong with some baby wipes. I'm just going to take that down because that is a bit too intense for me right now. When we're talking about things that we love in our van and that we love that we purchased before starting van life, we have to mention the trusty old French press, which is showcased in basically every single one of our vlogs um, because we use it every morning. Nick actually recently has betrayed me and he stopped drinking as much coffee. I started getting really bad anxiety. <laughs> it's, I'm being mean. He, he, it, I, was he trying to do, I was trying to do decaf for a bit and then I just decided it was too much of a pain so I just I switched over to drinking tea. Before we moved into a van, we just used a normal drip coffee maker. Um, and since moving into a van, we've been drinking much better coffee and using a French press. So, um, it's just super easy to heat up a bit of water in the morning and put it in here, wait a few minutes and then press it down and use it. We use it every day. This is used every single day. So we're of course very happy that we bought it for the van. The next thing that I definitely want to bring up while I'm sitting here in my spot, if you watched our van tour, you would know that this is my spot. I love this spot, but that's not what I'm talking about. So what we should mention, if you haven't watched our van tour, or you haven't, if you've never met us before, um, we have an inverter in our van and plugged into our, our inverter is a power bar, which has a very long cord. So it goes all the way through to our inverter, which is just outside of our van in our electrical box. And the power bar goes here and it's Velcroed on right here. And 
Um, I'm so happy that we put this power bar in because some people just have their inverter in the van and then some inverters have like two plugs or four plugs or whatever on them. We're just constantly utilizing one of those plugs and then we are connecting it to a power bar and we can plug whatever we want in. So I think that it's really important to consider your outlets when you're building your van. We definitely thought about it at a pretty last minute thing, like everything in our van, we keep bringing that up. <laughs> everything was last minute. And while we're sitting here in this spot, we also want to talk about something else that you can't necessarily buy online, but um, we have a lot of counter space. We should specify that this is for ambulances. Yeah, this is an ambulance electrical box. So this is where every all the power was run into. There's two auxiliary batteries at the bottom. So we built the counter into it and uh, it actually turned out fairly nice, I would say. A lot of the time we're just kind of like cooking on top of the co or chopping up here and moving stuff aside. So there's just tons of space that we can that we can utilize, which is great. I don't think that if like we didn't have an electrical box that we would have built an L-shaped counter. I don't think that would have been an idea in the first place, but because we had this box here and we didn't want to take it out and we just like didn't really want to mess with it, we kind of felt forced to like work around it. We weren't willing to take on that ambitious ambitious of a project and instead we ended up getting this big L L-shaped counter space with this seat right here. Nick is often chopping here because he can't stand and like I'm making him suffer right now by standing and I'm so sorry babe, I love you so much. Um, I'm I'll, I'll live. And uh, yeah, so someone can sit here, definitely can eat here. I work here all the time. We have so much counter space and I would love more. Sometimes it doesn't feel like we even have enough so I can't express it enough. I would never settle for less counter space than this. Yeah, and if you've watched our other vlogs, we love to cook. I mean, especially Rachel. Really love to cook. Um, and this is enough space to make that happen. So we consider it to be a lot of space, but um, it's the bare minimum that we would want to work yeah, with. Yeah, I would even consider in the future adding another, like, one of those fold-up tables. A, yeah, I would... a pull-out here, which, I mean... Yeah. We could. Do. We could easily do We've that. We've actually never discussed that, so you are a witness to this conversation right now. Yeah. That would be a good idea. Yeah. We should probably do something like that. Yeah. And you then could you could put that, it up and here, can... and then like I could work here. And... That and the spice rack, and yeah, there's there's some renovations we can do. Sounds like it's time to do some runouts. Last but not least, oh, flame. So this is our Mr. Heater little buddy, whatever it's called. Anyways, uh, it just takes a small little propane tank underneath it. It sits on that. It's got this little stand. Uh, you hold this in for like 30 seconds and then it uh, produces lots of heat, which is great. It keeps us relatively warm uh, when it's cold outside. And yeah, that's it. It's great to have this because when we are, uh, the vehicle's not on, we don't have heat coming out of our heater from under our bed. And if the vehicle's not plugged in, we don't have heat coming out of our electrical heater. So we have a propane heater as well. So we've got every way to make heat in the van. Uh, we find ourselves using this more often than not, especially when we're off grid. We, we never know what it's called. We're like Mr. Buddy, Mr. It's, Heater, it Little says, Buddy. It says Mr. Heater, Little Buddy, but it just feels, it's too many things to say, I feel like. I don't know, it just feels weird to say. <laughs> now, I know I said that the mason jars were my favorite part about our van build, but this is a very close second. Uh, we got these little plastic wine glasses. Um, they look like real wine glasses, but they're plastic. They don't break. We tried to buy as many things that aren't glass and are unbreakable as well. Um, so yeah, these I would say are probably my very close second with our plastic mason jars. And on that note, it's time to have some wine and go to bed. So um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope that it helped you even in the slightest if you're thinking about things to buy for your van or if you're just dreaming about van life and thinking of, yeah, stuff that you might have to buy or incorporate into your build. This stuff is all, these are all things that we genuinely love about our build. Um, yeah. Our favorites. Yeah, definitely our favorites. And this goes for all of our videos, but if you do like anything in our van build, we do try to link all of um, the items in our description below if you want to buy the same things or whatever for your build as well. But um, on that note, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye! Cheers.